Hi everyone! Today we're going to try to make some mouse ears. These mouse ears, I don't want them to look like Mickey Mouse ears. I want them to look a little bit different than that. And I really want to dress up like a mouse because I have my big cheese costume that I made last year and it's just been sitting there and I thought, why not have a mouse ear tutorial for the cheese costume? So in a few moments, we'll get started on making these mouse ears. Hola! Hoy vamos a intentar hacer unas orejitas de ratón. Ya que tengo mi disfraz de queso, me puse a pensar que quizás fuera bonito hacer, uh, disfrazarme de un ratón con queso. Y esas orejitas no van a ser como las orejas de Mickey Mouse. Las quiero hacer un poco diferente. En unos momentos, vamos a empezar. I just cut out the pattern piece that I made out of cardboard for the mouse ears. And honestly, you could just use cardboard instead of making a full ear. Um, it had a little cut here. And if you do it like this, you're gonna have a cute big ear. So honestly, if you wanna just make it with cardboard and paint it the color that you want, I would say go for it. You know that I'm always here to give you different options. <laughs> Acabo de cortar este patrón para mis orejitas. Estaba pensando hacerlas en tela, pero honestamente si tienen pintura gris y un poco de rosa, pueden hacerlo con cartón. Y aquí tiene una apertura. Lo único que hiciera es ponerla así para poner un dobladío y así tuvieran las orejitas de ratón, pero si quisieran hacerla de tela la pueden hacer así también. Aquí siempre les doy opciones. I have my piece up here and I have four sections below so that I can make the ear and I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting. Voy a empezar a cortar estas piezas. Now I have four pieces. Ya tengo cuatro piezas, entonces lo que voy a hacer es coser alrededor. The next thing I'm going to do is just start sewing the outside of these pieces. So what you're going to want to do is get the two right sides together and sew along the edge. Lo que vamos a hacer es poner las piezas derecho adentro y coser alrededor. So it's going to look like this. You're going to sew all the way around and I'm leaving this opening here. Así es como se va a ver. Van a coser alrededor, pero yo estoy dejando esta apertura aquí abajo. Y lo cosí con este color para que ustedes puedan ver uh, la línea. And I did sew it with this color so that you can see this line. And the other side, you don't really see it as much because it is the gray, but I thought this would maybe be helpful. So let me know if it was helpful. And you're going to do that for both of them. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer para las dos piezas. All right, so once we've already sewn our pieces, I'm going to just snip a few uh, pieces here. I don't want to grab the stitches. Estoy cortando estas piezas aquí, unos triángulos, pero sin agarrar las puntadas. This is going to help you with making it hopefully stay a little bit more rounder than not. And we have our little oh, ears. And like I said, I was going to put the pink on there, but I don't think I will. I, I kind of like how it looks just like this. So I'm going to leave it like that. I don't, I don't know, should I put the pink? Should I put the pink or not? I don't know, I can't. No sé si quiero poner la pieza rosada. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Creo que lo voy a dejar así, sin la pieza rosada. Okay. Lo siguiente es rellenar las orejas. The next thing I'm gonna do is, is stuff the ears a little bit. Because I do sew crochet and mm, just pretty much make a lot of things with different materials, I that creates a lot of waste and I, try not to be super wasteful. So I'll save some scraps. And you can use this as filler if you are like me and you save your scraps so that you can do different projects. 
or um, like sewing scraps. That's also good for filler as well. Uh, if you don't have these materials, but you don't want to go buy filler for years, you could actually grab some pillows and get the filling from there. Um, you can get these at like a thrift store, or if you have any throw pillow pillows that you thought of getting rid of, just open them up and use the material inside. You know that I love using anything that we have around the house so that we can reduce waste and just have fun. Lo que les estaba diciendo es que normalmente como yo tejo y coso, a veces podemos producir mucha basura. Y yo he intentado mantener la basura de mis proyectos en jarras para poder usarlo como relleno. Eso lo hice con la hamburguesa y usé mucha tela de diferentes proyectos. Entonces aquí todavía tengo unos del vestido azul, del vestido verde y puedo usar esto como relleno para mis orejitas. O si no tienen algo así, pueden buscar una almohada que no estén usando o que puedan conseguir uh, más barato que los rellenos en las tiendas y sacar el relleno de adentro y usar eso. En este canal ya saben que intentamos usar lo que podemos para que no nos salga caro. Y como también les había dicho, ustedes pueden usar el cartón en este modo y se hicieran unas orejitas bien bonitas. Uh, entonces ahorita lo que voy a hacer es rellenar mis orejitas. Trying to reuse and reduce and recycle. Looking pretty cute. This this one is filled up with the yarn that I have, and this one was filled up with the fabric stash. Este lo rellené con pedazos de hilo que tenía, y este está relleno con pedazos de tela. Okay, so what I did right now is folded this section in, and then I sewed it up. Entonces lo que acabo de hacer es doblar la parte de abajo y lo cosí. So this is how I'm doing that. I grab my ear and I fold it. I fold it in. Estoy agarrando mi oreja y la estoy doblando hacia adentro. Now I have this piece like this. Ya tengo esta pieza así. Y solo voy a coser la orilla. Now I'm just gonna sew the edge. Okay, so we have these two pieces now. So what I'm doing to make the ear look a little bit more realistic, or the way that I want it to look, <laughs> is I'm grabbing it like this, and I'm kind of moving these pieces together make it look a little bit more like an ear. I'm going to sew that piece up. So this is going to be a big piece to sew. Entonces lo que estoy haciendo para hacerlo ver un poco más como una orejita es doblando estas secciones y haciéndolo ver como orejita. Y voy a coser de aquí a acá abajo. And this is what they're looking like. Así se están viendo. Yo creo que se están viendo bien. I think that they're looking okay. So you have different options on how to attach these onto your head. You can put them on a you can put them on a headband, or you could probably put clips on the bottom to put them there. I think I'm gonna use a headband. Pueden usar una diadema o poner como unos clips aquí abajo para pegarlos en la cabeza. Pero yo creo que voy a usar una diadema. I have this headband that I've used for different costumes. I think I might have used this one for the moth and I just got rid of the top section for it, but I am thinking of gluing the ears onto the headband. Esta diadema la he usado para diferentes proyectos. Lo que voy a hacer ahorita es esperar a que se caliente mi pistola de pegamento para pegar estas orejitas aquí. And it's so hot, I'm so hot. It's 100 degrees. 
over here. Está así en aquí donde vivo y hace mucho calor. Okay, now that my glue gun is finally heated up, I'm going to put the ears on the headband. So I'm going to put some glue gun, some glue gun, some glue here. I have my front here and I'm just going to glue this in like this. And then I'm going to take some of this glue and glue it here. And if you need to put more glue on the sides to make it a little bit more secure, you can go ahead and do that. That's what I'm going to do because I haven't done this, so we're learning as I go. I think that looks pretty good, I think. <laughs> Entonces lo que esto, acabo de hacer es poner pegamento aquí abajo. Lo pego en este modo. Y lo pego un poco más aquí. Bueno, eso es lo que hice, ¿verdad? Porque estamos aprendiendo ahorita juntos, porque yo no he hecho estas orejas jamás. Y las pegamos así. Y así están. ¡Qué bonitas! ¡How cute! ¡Oh, they're so cute! Están bonitas, me gustan. This is, of course, one method of doing your mouse ears. You can do it in different ways. I wanted to make my own in this way, not like the Mickey Mouse way. It's a little bit different. So I'm just gonna go get dressed and we'll see the look all together. Y yo creo que me gustan como se ven. Honestamente, nunca he hecho orejitas en este modo de tela, pero me gusta como se ven un poquito más diferente. Yo intenté hacerlo a mi manera y se ve bien. Entonces, lo único que me falta es vestirme para disfrazarme de ratón. For the tail, I'm going to use this pink fabric. I'm going to pin it to my outfit and I will show you how it looks all together. Para hacer la cola, voy a usar este pedazo de tela y este voy a poner esto en mi traje y en unos momentos les enseñaré cómo se ve. So that was the final look of this costume. I painted my face a little bit. I put some little lines and painted my nose. Ya ven este era el disfraz, pinté la cara un poco. I'm very shiny. Estoy brillosa porque hace calor. Y me pinté la nariz de rosa. Este traje es una pijama. This outfit is an, it's actually a pajama and I will link it down below if you are interested in getting the same thing. I like buying things that I'm going to use again and I definitely use this during winter time because it's very warm, but it is a hundred degrees today. So, oh my gosh. Voy a poner en la descripción donde pueden conseguir esta misma pijama. Es algo bien caliente, entonces para la temporada de octubre normalmente hace frío y bueno, en algunos lugares hace frío. Aquí donde estoy en este momento está a 100 grados y por eso estoy sudando. <risa> Pero honestamente yo creo que me salió bien con la cola también que agarré de lo que tengo aquí en la casa. I think it looks really good. I even like the really long tail that I got from just the random stuff that I have hoarded in my house. So I guess I am like a mouse, but maybe a pack rat. Am I a hoarder? Mm, yeah, probably. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed making this video. This was a really quick make and since I had things already in the house, I could dress up really quickly and use my pink Crocs as pink little feet so I can be comfortable when going out for candy, even though, again, I don't do that because I am an older person. I am not a child and they won't give me candy, but we're not bitter. 
So I'm really happy that I was able to use the cheese costume for one more outfit. Uh, I could go as a mouse or I could go as a mouse with my big block of cheese. But this cheese, I am going to change it soon. So if you are interested in seeing that video, please make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. If you make this outfit, please share it with me on Instagram. I always love seeing your makes. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Y como ven, me encantó este disfraz y pude utilizar mi disfraz de queso una vez más para este disfraz. Puedo ir de ratón o de ratón con queso. El queso lo voy a cambiar bien pronto, entonces si gustan ver ese video, por favor asegúrense de suscribir a mi canal. Si les ha gustado ese video, pongan que les gustó y siempre enséñenme sus disfraces en Instagram. A mí siempre me encanta ver lo que hagan. Gracias por ver el video y los veré en la próxima.